Thursday, June 24th. It is currently 11 a.m. and I'm eating my breakfast in a rush because I have to go and run some errands today. But before we do get into what I have to do today, I do want to rewind a little bit because I did cut my hair yesterday and I also dyed the purple part black. There are still some pieces that are purple, but you know, for the most part, it's kind of gone. And yes, I did record it for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna be cutting my hair, but I'm getting really nervous. You know, I talked myself through it and I was like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, it's fine, it's just hair. But now that I'm here, I'm like, <laughs> hold it like back here, up here, yeah. I just gotta get it first to the point where it's like sleek. Oh, shoot. You know what I didn't do? I did not show you guys what my hair looked like previously. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you guys see how long this is? Okay, I think I want to cut off like this much. Oh no. <gasps> what if I wet it? I think if I wet it, it'll be a little bit better. So that it's... The scissors are not gonna cut through this. <gasps> okay, this is not what I intended to do, but I'm getting rid of it first. Okay, <laughs> we're in it already. I just wanted to get rid of that to see if the scissors would be able to go through and I really don't think they're gonna be able to go through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut above the ponytail and then we'll fix it over here. We'll just cut it in portions. <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm doing. The struggles of having thick, super thick hair. That is so not straight. I'm just shedding pieces of me here. Okay, let's try it again then. <laughs> I'm like, can you bend down so I can reach? We're doing it, we're here. You're so not halfway through that. Oh, okay, that's getting dangerous. There we go. Guys, this is a workout. I'm freaking sweating more than my entire workout. Okay, I will have nightmares. Oh, guys, the amount of hair, like I'm not even kidding you. This is, this is insane. Also, I look really funky. Okay, let's cut it straight <laughs> as best as we can. I also see people do this shit. That's not doing anything to my hair. That is not doing anything to my hair. Okay, how about we don't do it? Okay, right, right. I guess we're here. Okay, oh my god, my hair is um interesting. It looks so cute though, look at how short it is. Okay, no, I don't know if I'm a fan of it. <laughs> oh no. Just gonna go ahead and leave this sort of long. I mean, it kind of worked. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Actually, like, I think I'm gonna go cry now. I just got out of the shower. My hair does not look bad when it's wet, but let's see once it dries how it's going to look. It also doesn't look that different with like the purple other than that the purple is no longer there. I actually like how it looks. I think I did an okay job. Like I'm kind of impressed. The curls are popping. If I want to act like I cut my hair really short, I totally can. We love that. Look, it's so bouncy. Ooh, we love that. <laughs> okay. I'm done. Then this morning, I did also try out some new jumping shoes that I got because I've been jump roping every single day and the shoes that I had just were no longer doing it for me. I need some new shoes. My legs hurt really bad from jump roping. So I decided to place an order online and try out some new shoes. Okay, so I placed an order for new shoes for jump rope and they're supposed to be here on Friday and I just got a message saying that they're here. <gasps> okay, they actually listened. We have a box here that says, please put packages in here. They totally did it. 
Good morning, guys. So, I have been jumping rope every single day this past week. So, I started to notice that the shoes that I have, which I have had for quite a while, right here, they're pretty flat and they don't give me any sort of like cushion when I jump. I feel like that's tiring me out more than it should be because, you know, in general, jump rope is really tiring. But I feel like having the right shoes for it can also help with that. So, I need scissors for this they are women's nike air zoom pegasus 37 i wanted the pegasus 38 in all white but then i realized i will get them dirty so there's no point in me getting the white shoes for working out so i got these ones which were actually cheaper this is the right shoe on the back here it says nike running and this is the left and on the back here it has like a timestamp, which is really cool on the tongue here for both of them it just has the model of the shoe this is what the laces look like inside of the shoe just says zoom so i'm hoping that these will help with jumping rope they are supposed to have some sort of like absorption one thing that did sell me on these shoes was of course the absorption on it but also that it has a curve right here where your arch is because normally all shoes are just flat and they don't give any support at all i think these will be really great for walking, running, jumping rope. Okay, foot slip right in. It feels pretty good. There is room right here. That's a pretty big like space. Okay, these feel a little weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep these because my right foot fits in it, but not my left foot. Hi, we meet here again. So I have the shoes on now. I'm still very confused because they fit, but they don't fit at the same time. It's like they fit tight, but not. So I'm very confused. Also, when I'm walking on them, it literally feels like I'm walking on a cloud because they are so soft. It's, you could literally feel like the foam when you step. Okay, in conclusion, I really like them. They are very cushioning. When you're jumping, you obviously feel your leg muscles, but once I stopped, I don't feel it anymore. Whereas with the other ones, because there was no cushion i could feel like every time my foot hit the floor so these are definitely worth it love these going to keep them and i got sweat in my eye i did have a good jump rope workout and i feel like this is probably just all in my head i swear whenever i get something new i like tend to go longer and i feel like i jumped for longer than I normally do. I think these are great jumping shoes. If you guys are interested in checking them out, I'll link them down below because I know I was looking for some and I found some that like workout was so good I locked myself out. Okay, first of all, my hair is crazy, but I just rolled up to get my car washed because if you guys didn't know, I finally have Carlitos back. He was in Mexico getting fixed. Now for my least favorite part, which is vacuuming the car because it is so hot. I'm gonna sweat. Oh no, I didn't bring a big enough clip. This is gonna have to work somehow. No. I have to come on here and tell you guys the little realization that I had. Crystals work. Doubt the crystal? I don't know, but it works. If you guys saw last week's video, you guys saw that I went specifically to a crystal shop to get Carnelian because I had seen a TikTok talking about how this girl got it and she was getting like mad compliments. I wanted to get a Carnelian because, you know, sometimes... That's rude. I don't know who that is. Sometimes, you know, you have crystals and like, do you really see things happening? I don't know, but this just proved it to me. So I decided I was gonna bring my carnelian with me today. Didn't really think anything of it. Put it in my pocket just to let my crystal guide me. I roll up to wash my car and the guy there, guys never really like point this out. I know guys, some guys will, but not like, I mean, this is just so random. I go to wash my car and there's a guy right there, you know, ready to take my card. He says, I like your nails. Did you just get them done or have you had them for a while? I'm like, I just got complimented on my nails. Didn't think anything of it. As I was vacuuming it, I was like, oh, my carnelian. It worked. I got complimented. Like, 
guys doubt it or not like this proved it to me crystals work anyways i'm at t-mobile now i used to have sprint and if you guys didn't know sprint was bought out by t-mobile and now on the top right here it says extended network so it's not picking up great signal so i need to go and swap out the sim card so let's see how this goes that was just for i have to go to the other t-mobile because this one their computer is down got the sim cards and i decided to come to target so now mine says t-mobile instead of sprint i don't know how to feel about it guys i decided to pick up a couple of groceries since i'm already here so far have bread that's it it ain't nothing to me young tom hardy with the movies act out smoothly mickey for the goofies pokemon with the hoes cause i'm choosy saying she a foodie thinking she uni and she always dressing about you I'm now back home. I'm really tired. Like I'm ready to go to sleep. It is 11 13 way past my what what way past my bedtime i normally go to sleep around 10 but since i was hanging out with my friend ruby tonight we can go a little over the bedtime we did go to dinner which i didn't record what we did because i just want to enjoy the moment but here's a picture of what we ate it was actually really good and then we also had I believe it's pronounced tiramisu which ruby put me on it was actually really good it's like really soft cake or whatever it is but it's delicious we also ended up going to this thrift shop downtown i don't give a fuck fine do yourself talking that hundred bands running man i just want to get the bag i don't lag i don't drag i just do the fucking dash i just want the fucking cash i just want to fucking smash i don't draw the ball cross lines like a running back they had a lot of cute clothes and they were really inexpensive so i did end up getting some stuff it's actually like two stores in one so you walk into the store and then behind that store there's another shop it's like a skate shop but they have like a bunch of graphic tees and stuff so of course you guys know i had to pick something up i ended up getting some like totally random pieces for me but they're so cute and i'm so excited to wear them so first of all i got this top i think this would look so cute like unbutton this shirt is like very like tacky but it's like chic and i'm so into it okay are you ready for this first of all they have these stars that go along the pockets and then they have this fringe that goes all the way down to the bottom of the pants and they're just so unique and cool and i cannot wait to wear these and then like i said they did have a little shop in the back with a bunch of like graphic t-shirts so i did get this one this is puerto peñasco on it i'm so obsessed i did not know we had cute stuff like that where i live so i'm very impressed but now it is time to go to sleep i also have to pee really bad so i'm gonna go pee first and then go to sleep <laughs> but that is it for this video i will see you guys next time peace Friends. and you know and i want on my fucking head don't need no one so i'm shooting shots like Stay ready.